Hey guys, welcome to my channel. We're discussing Mandela effects of a like. Thank you for joining in today. Welcome all Mandela effect teams. Hey guys. So anyway, um, this is possibly one of the hugest uh, Mandela effects out there um, next to the one about the baseball. They've changed our baseball from take me out to the ball game, take me out to the crowds, or take me out with the crowds now. I can't even say it the way they want me to. It's, it's just wrong. Um, but... Anyway, th this goes out to a uh, special shout out goes out to um, Dawn Connors for finding this one. Uh, she messaged me and said that the lyrics have changed now, that the punctuation has switched around in the Star Spangled Banner, which makes it sound awful. If you guys have the chance, check it out and try to sing it the way it is with the new punctuation. You just can't. And uh, I'm uh, go ahead and pause if you have to to think about that. Don't don't look because it'll mess you up now. Um, but if you look at the very bottom and the home of the brave is now and the home of the brave, like, um, OK, we're not brave anymore, you know. So I find that really weird. Uh, the song is written by Francis Scott Key, who was an American poet. Why would he do this? Why would he say over the land of the brave with a question mark? I understand that there's another line here. Oh, say does that star. Uh, oh, say does that star spangled banner yet wave? It's they're not asking a question here. Oh, say does that Star Spangled Banner yet yeah, wave? Um, I mean, they are, but th this is actually two different sentences. If you look, um, mm, this one bothers me. I actually have proof that it was the other way. Okay, guys, uh, which I'll show you that in a second. I can't even sing it the way they want me to sing it now. It's just wrong. But I did manage to find some residue here from the Star, uh, Star Spangled Banner. This is from uh, An Officer's Love Story, Volume 1, David T. Hardison. Okay? And he even goes to say the Star Spangled Banner right here. So I'm going to attempt to sing for you guys the way I remember it. Um, so anyway, here it goes. <clears throat> oh, say can you see... By the dawn's early light, what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight over the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night, <clears throat> excuse me, that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star spangled banner yet wave? Oh, the land and of the free and the home of the brave. Now, sorry, guys, for my awful singing, but I, I, this one has to go out there. Um, I can't even sing it the way they want me to. With the, the question mark has been moved. I mean, the exclamation point has been removed and moved somewhere else. So this is just really weird, guys. Tell me what you guys think. Because look, here it says, over the land of the free and the home of the brave with a big, huge exclamation mark right down there in the text. You guys see that? And here, uh, David puts it up here. He puts, and the home of the brave with the exclamation point, the way I remembered it. What is going on here, guys? What are they doing to us? This is just so weird. They're hiding it right underneath our our, our uh, noses here this and it, and it was never rockets that with the uh a single rocket uh possessive it was never a single rocket it was plural like this and because it makes sense and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air when you look at the um the lyric um now it says, and the rockets with the, uh, it looks like a single rocket going off. No, because there's bombs. If it was, and, and the, it doesn't make any sense, guys. And the rocket, uh, and the rockets, red glare, the bomb 
bursting in air. That's what they should have said. If if that's if this was the case, if this guy studied proper English, he would say, and the rockets, red glare, the bomb bursting in air. So I don't know, guys. You tell me. I'm seeing uh, actually a few faults with punctuation, but definitely the way I remember it was the same way David remembers it, and the rockets, red glare, plural. All right? And then the exclamation point at the end of brave. They're saying we're not brave anymore, guys. It's a slap in the face, guys. I don't know if you guys see that. It's it, Anyway, um, thanks for checking me out. Um, I think this is a huge Mandela effect. Um, it should be brought about on every channel because, uh, you know, a lot of us are, are hot-blooded Americans. Um, I mean, um, anyway, guys, let me know what you think. Thanks for checking me out. Have a great Mandela effect day and God bless you all.